We go on three. We'll go left, you go right. Okay. Just give the word. Okay, let's do this. You, you, you're going to resist? Seriously? One, two. Oh, all right, men. We've got them outnumbered. Move in and take them down. Three. Okay. You would have thought they Time could hear them, right? Oh, Council sure attacks. If you execute an attack at the price moment that an auto attack connects, the ring of light will appear around you. This ring of light tells you that your council attack has been successful. A successful council attack will be more effective than an art executed normally. Also, the recharge gauge will fill up faster afterwards, so you can really get an advantage from using council attack. The effect of the council attack will increase with the stage of auto attack. Try to stage it on the third blow to get the most bang for your buck. Sweet, okay. One. Oh. Okay, that's the ring of light, I guess. Sweet. Don't forget me. Thank you can take me. Um. So I guess we're gonna go for the other guy first for a bit. Ooh, hello. Thank you can take me. Oh, okay, they're all here. I messed that up, but oh well. I'm not even trying to at all anymore. I should really do that a bit more. Right, I want you to use Aquania, thank you. Do that on whoever you think, and then I'm gonna. Well, Captain's down. Can I do a ring? Yes, I can do a ring on this Captain, okay. Sweet. I completely messed that up on that guy, but alright. No. Thank you can take Please. me! Nice. Yeah, there were five guys. Now there's only three. Who knows? They're so strong! That thanks from a measly two fighter. Their drivers are right. Rex, no! You got it! A wall made of fire. Such a commotion. Whoa. Enjoy a piece I meant the crystal legs, not... Never mind. Show him a thing or three. Okay. Oh, God, you have to shout immediately. I have no idea what it happens when I'm pressing left there, other than something to me, maybe. Right, okay, so. One. Oh, that's the third one. Damn it, okay. Nope, that did not. That did not sink. I accidentally actually cancelled myself. There's the ring of light. Gotcha. 
And the middle lights even better. Thank you. HP, please. Better move to the corner. Quite. Any time with Aqua. Or Aqua. Well the worst. Here's how you're going to be able to do it. Here's how you're going to be able to do it. Here's how you're going to be able to do it. Here's how you're going to be able to do it. Here's how you're going to be able to do it. Here's how you're going to be able to do it. Flame Nova, lovely. Oh, Nia's down. That's, good. That's why it's gone quiet. I was wondering why it was so quiet. We're almost done. Thank you. Alright, Nia, do come over this way in a moment. Stay back. You may have got the gist yourself, but let me go in a little more detail about blade combos. Great timing, but alright. The indicator of the arrows pointing up right now represents a combo request from a blade currently engaged by the character you're controlling. Oh yeah. Uh, this blade would... When one of your currently engaged blade specials would be able to initiate a blade combo. And also when one of the blade specials would be able to extend a blade combo that's currently in progress. Blade combos can have a massive impact on the battlefield, so try not to miss these opportunities. Okay, so that's burnout on that one. I might want uh, Nia back up as a little suggestion. They're not going to get. let me do that anymore? Okay, because it's once per something or other. Not quite sure. What, what's happened here? I guess it's over then. The tutorial messed me up because I wasn't able to heal. Maybe it's because I'm doing my special. Well, I'm going to use this to not get my HP because you get a nice comp instead. Alright, fine. The currency should be dazzlings. Oh, that could be an idea. Sorry, I just saw that and skipped over. Captain sounds like a teacher shout shouting that the test is over. I could see that. It's fine. We'll get them yet. Yeah, Don't all right, push sure. yourself too hard. Is it this way? Are you sure? I feel like I'm going back on myself. Because I am. I'm going this way. Um, is there anything else I need to charge up on? Weapons? Items? Oh, they're just back here again. Wow. Okay. Um, first things first then, can we take care of the guard? You're done! Yes, I know, I'm done. No, I think I can't. Foot forward, You're done! All right, I really want to get rid of the guard, but it won't let me switch, and I don't remember how. There we You're go. Done. This is all I wanted. Right now. Our emotions are in two, You're done! I like your one. Two. I okay, that, like I said, the third one then. You know what? I'm going to we'll go for that in a moment. Yes, that's you. One, two. Okay, that's the third one again. I'm just out of sync, apparently. Never blast. Thank you. Two forty-four. Lovely. I found that wrong. But I'll take the HP. Lovely. Watch out. Oh, this is Flame Nova again? Damn, I wanted Flame Resident or whatever it was. Well, the captain's almost down anyway, so it shouldn't matter too much. Everyone's getting sight. Sweet. Ah, okay, oh. Captain's down. Bridget should be a little bit easy hey, now. Hey. And now we can actually hear what she's saying. Nice. 
your liking. Ha! Rush down. Why not? Chalk. Yeah. Anchor shot. Let us back you straight now. Will of the wind. Oh, you can't yeah. do that. So hey. Smash. Go for it. Flame, no What's she weak to? Some sort of flower. Okay, never mind then. Neither of them. I think I'm doing okay this time. Just a little suspicion of mine. Will of the wind. Oh, no, no, no. Let us make use of it now. Sure. For sure. The little ring light, though, is very subtle. Though. I didn't even realize that was a thing at first. Watch out. Aqua Venom Water. Whatever. I'm going to have him again. Let us make use of it now. Is that going on? I'm going to use my special number two with the ring of light. There we go. Prominence Revolt. Lovely. I think I'm getting this now. What? She, she repelled our attack. She's so strong. Mm. And this is without a driver. Stop yammering! Just get him! No! They're burritos now! This is an Ethernet! <laughs> Let's see you use your precious dark when you can't draw ether from the atmosphere. Gosh, he's a real exposition captain, isn't he? This is one such we can use. Without the flow of ether, blades are quite useless. Nia, draw mark! Get out of you, Rex! Save yourself! I'm not gonna do that. I can't just leave you here. You've got your own mission, just move it! Yeah, but... No bets, go! Rex, we must withdraw for now. It's our only chance. But... You won't escape. Water was a weakness. Oops. Did you forget me to do the second special then? And she never opens her eyes? Okay. Hey, hey! This way! Friends! Come <laughs> this way! Tora help you escape! Who are you? Quick! No time for explain! Thanks. You saved us. But I gotta ask, why? No reason. <laughs> no reason? Sorry, that not true. Truth is, Tora not like those big bully soldiers. Was thinking to test out shiny new boom biter on big bullies. That's when Tora see friends running from them. Boom biter missed and hit water pipe. But results not so bad, hey? Oh. So you shot the pipe. That right. And you're Tora. I'm Rex. And this is Pyra. It's so lovely to meet you. Good to meeting. 
Time for our resident knop on. Uh, actually, Tora have other reason for save you. Which is? Don't worry. Explain everything when get to House of Tora. This way. This isn't House of Tora. Yep, it's just us now. Okay, so you can use it multiple times. That's nice. At least. The boy and his blade, who seemed to be working with them, got away. But we apprehended the girl from the wanted poster along with her blade. The town is once again safe for. She! Padre! Do you remember what my orders were? Sir? I told you to capture the blade with the Emerald Core Crystal, did I not? Do you recall me ever telling you to capture some little girl with barely a bounty on her head? But, sir, she's a member of Torma. I'll say it slowly for you, just so we're clear. Get the blade with the emerald. Um, console doodle, sir. What? I'm not exactly sure what color emerald is supposed to be. I can relate. Oh, give me strength! It's green, you idiot! Emerald is green! Like this! Green! Get That's it, blue! Lord! Oh, green! I get it now! So, emeralds are green. <laughs> you dunderhead! How many blades do you see with green core crystal? It's patently obvious! How do you mix that blade up with some worthless cat monster? Actually, sir, technically, I believe that's a tiger rather than a. Silence! Ah. Oof! Console! What is it? Haven't you heard of knocking? There was no door. My apologies, sir. <laughs> There's no door. This lady Morag has... What? Special Inquisitor Morag has just arrived from the motherland. Already? Her ship has just docked. This... This cannot be happening! That goopy music. I love it. Sure, and Xenoblade's got its great orchestral bombastic moments, but the goofy is where it's really at. You live down here. This just back door, front entrance over there. Makes sense. Whoa, is that the cloud sea down there? We're so high up. Nice view, eh? Tora likes to just sit and watch cloud sea sometimes. You have a wonderful home. <laughs> anyway, um, Rex Rex. Rex Rex? Rex Rex, Tora explain other reason I help you. You see, Tora always wanted to make driver friends. Ah, interested in drivers, are you? But of course. Tora think it's amazing how driver and blade join spirits together to make big power. Tora really want to be sidekick of Rex Rex. Um, you know my name is just Rex, right? One Rex, not two. What is point? Well, nothing, I guess. It just sounds a bit different from... Is Rex not used to knock on? They're on 
and just show Taurus respect. Respect for great driver. Rex Rex should be proud. I'm not sure I've earned all that yet. Oh, all right. You can call me Rex Rex if it makes you happy. But instead of all this sidekick stuff, can't we just be friends? Really? Tora will be friend of Rex Rex? Hooray! <laughs> what a funny little guy. Hey, Tora, do you know much about this town? Huh? You wouldn't happen to know where the army takes prisoners, would you? Rex, you're not planning to... We have to save Nier and Dromark. I thought you would say that. Oh, you talk about Driver and Blade who were with Rex Rex before Tora's daring rescue. Yeah. Meh, meh. Tora would have to ask around town for info like that. Mm. Before we do anything, time for food. All of today's running around make Tora hungry. Need food to help Rex Rex. I'm a little peckish too. Can't we eat later? I want to find Nier and Dromok as soon as possible. <laughs> Stomach of Rex Rex tell different story. I... I can't help it, can I? Um... If it's alright with everyone, I could cook something. You do Hi, have that bro. ability. I didn't know you could cook. <laughs> well, as long as fire is involved, I can do almost anything. Fry, steam, grill, you name it. Murder. Whoa! I guess that's kind of obvious by if now. If you want ice cream, though, you might have to find someone else. Well, you can't have everything. Tora, do you have any ingredients I could work with? Just what? Just what in pantry there? Not much, really. Tora, sorry. It doesn't seem wise to go out and... I can't remember how he talks now. It doesn't seem wise to go out now and buy more supplies, so we'll just have to make do with what we have. Let's see what we've got then. Glitter spuds, sumpkins, oh, and here's an oil oyster and single meaty carrot. Oh, and hot oranges too. These aren't bad ingredients at all. All foods that can be eaten with no cooking. That's how Tora usually eat. Uh, that's a bit depressing. We aren't much better ourselves, you know. I guess you're right. So, what do you think, Pyra? Can you make anything with this? Yes, I think this should be enough. I'll just use the kitchen, okay? Sweet. I just thought of a great menu idea. Look forward to that later. Okay, so I guess glitter bake it is. Whoops. Nope. There we go. Oh man, this is delicious. Oh yum, yummy. So super, very tasty. Simply exquisite. I haven't eaten this well in a hundred and twenty years. I'm glad you liked it. It seems like I did okay. I was worried I'd have gotten a little rusty over the years. It didn't taste rusty at all. Uh, um, I mean... But Tora <laughs> is curious. Pyra is fire using blade, yes? When Tora broke that water pipe, Pyra could still make fire. Come to think of it, you're right. That Bridget, the Imperial Blade, she used fire abilities just like Pyra, but the water seemed to douse much of her strength. So, what are you saying? This world full of elemental energy called ether, yes? Ether comes in forms like fire, water, and wind. While battling, drivers and blades both draw power from ether. But fire not good with water. Other blade woman got splooshy with water, so fire powers all down. But Pyra and I were able to use our powers with no problem. Indeed. They were unaffected. Why? Um, well, my powers don't come from fire. Meh meh? If power's not fire, why look like flames? Is that maybe a little complicated to explain? 
Go on, then. Tora like complicated things a lot. <sighs> well, um, I, uh, 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 it... Knock it off, Tora. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? Eh. Everyone has things they'd rather not talk about. Right? I'm sorry. I'm sure I'll be able to tell you about it soon enough. Don't worry about it. Right now, we need to think about how to rescue Nia. First, we go around town and find all information we can. Hmm. Yes, I dare say that we're all wanted criminals by this point. Pyra sticks out like a sore thumb. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, friends. Tora has an idea. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Special Inquisitor Morag. I quite like to this character, I'll be honest. To owe this extreme pleasure. Maybe it's just the voice. Had we but heard of your grace's visit, we could have prepared a suitable... I don't stand on ceremony, Consul. I'd rather you just did your job. Y your grace? Someone of your standing deserves to be treated as such. You are His Majesty's representative. Please permit us to lay on a meal befitting your grace. Until then, we would be honored if... You made impressive time. I wasn't expecting you until tomorrow. Oh, Lady Bridget! If we have found the Aegis, then there is no time to waste. But I fear the passage has taken its toll on our engines. The Aegis? How do you... Is there a problem, Dougal? N uh, not at all, Your Grace. Good. Now, you've captured a driver from Torna. I am going to speak with her. What? Uh, why do you want... Dougal. I don't remember asking for your opinion. Y yes Your Grace. I'll take you to her right away. Okay. A bit creepy that she doesn't open her eyes, so, but alright. You are the Torna Ruffian. I must say you look a little different from your poster. A little different. Whoever drew that should be the one in jail. How many times are they gonna refer to this joke? <laughs> yes. I would be angry too. You can drop the friendly act. You won't name your friends. My friends? I'm not so sure I'd call those trigger happy toner goons friends. I see. I think we have our wires crossed here. I am not talking about Torna. Huh? You're not? No. I was referring to your more recent traveling companions. The driver boy and his blade. Rex and Pyra. Well, that was easy. Damn it! Does that really tell a lot? The name? This looks like it could actually work. Good idea, Tora. Right! Let's look for friends of Rex Rex! Okay. Gosh, you're right there, Pyra. Don't go crazy. Um, can I cook more things? I just thought of a great menu idea. Look forward to that later. No. Okay. Excuse me for trying. Uh, there's got to be like a treasure chest around here, though, right? Ready now. Okay. I won't judge. Then again, this is a prime opportunity for for some something. No, damn it. Okay. Well, there's this over here, so come I guess out, I'll accept this. Out. Okay. Right. 
Uh, so what are we looking for right now? Ask around Torogov to see if you can gather information about Nia. Okay. Lope, what do you have to say? You heard anything about a girl called Nia who was captured by the Ardanians recently? Oh yeah, I heard about that. Some Ardanian dude was saying they were going to execute the prisoner within the next few days. These Torah guys are pretty bad, right? I've heard they killed loads of drivers to steal their core crystals. Be amazing if you have somebody captured one of them. The Empire is so cool. I wonder what they're doing with this execution thing anyway. I've never seen one before. I'm gonna go see for myself. You guys should come along too. Thanks. <laughs> There's a rumor of execution. Lovely start. Okay then. Ooh, this game is not very PG, is it? Although I guess we kind of gathered that by now, but still. Right, next up, it's Il it's Alice. Not quite spelt the usual, but alright. Pyro just jumped off the world. Have you heard anything about a girl named Nia who was captured by Ardanians recently? Ah, sorry, I am, uh, I'm only interested really in plants. I'll keep up with the latest rumors. I, I want to become a botanist in Moradane, but my parents keep saying it's too dangerous. It's been a whole decade now since Moradane and Arara ceased hostilities. And sure, the, but the, there's been this nasty group called Torna popping up in the news lately, but still, it's not like anything bad's gonna happen where more Ardane's in charge. Does not this piece of little town prove that? Okay. Let's continue further forward. Uh, I could go to the salvage point, but I don't think I want to right now. Mui! You heard anything about the recent death dinner? Oh yeah, I heard something interesting. Apparently the Torna members that the Ardanian Empire called was some Gormori girl called Nia. Nia. That name does sound familiar somehow. Didn't the old Lord Etchel was a decade ago or what? Didn't the old Lord of Etchel a decade or so ago have... Actually, let's not talk about that. It's not a happy thing to think about. Thank you so much. The name of a Tornan. Okay. Interesting. Next one, I'm Sean. Right. Heard anything? I don't know anything about that. But the grown-ups do seem to be talking about secret complicated stuff a lot lately. Apparently there's some kind of trouble people causing... Dangerous people causing trouble. It's only been ten years since the war between Morodain and Araya ended. What would they start more... Why would they start more trouble? Sounds like a real pain. Hope the Ardanian soldiers will be able to protect us. Ooh, okay. Gosh, there's a lot of people they want us to talk to suddenly. Did Red Flags know they were recruiting over there for new drivers? Yeah, I saw that earlier when we first arrived in the city. Red Flags should try too. Chance of success basically 100%. I'm wanted by the Ardanian Empire right now, remember? Seems a little bad idea to make myself conspicuous. Red Flags make a good point. <laughs> Tara was just curious to see what kind of blade Red Flags would awaken. At any rate, I don't need to awaken a blade, do I? I've already got Pyra. Come now, Rex. Don't tell me you thought drivers that could only bond with a single blade. What? Is that not right? Not at all. Many drivers have more than one. With Nia gone, we're a bit short of numbers right now. We might not hold up all that well in a fight. Perhaps it would actually be a good idea to get yourself a new blade. A new blade opens up new possibilities in battle, after all. Hmm. It would stop you from putting so much strain on Pyro as well. Seems like a good thing all around, if you ask me. Well, Pyro doesn't mind. I guess it couldn't hurt to try. I don't have any objections. The more the merrier. My eye is ruining itself. My right eye is really itchy and gross. Hold on. Uh, okay. Then it's settled. The question is, where are we going to get ourselves a crystal, a core crystal? And that's one question I can answer. I happen to have one stored away for just such an occasion. Where grabs hide core crystal with such small body? The key to awakening a new blade is to foster a powerful resonance with the driver's spirit. Focus your whole mind on the crystal core as you touch it. And try to get a hold a clear picture in your mind of the blade you wish to awaken. I'm not sure I really understand, but I'll give it a try. I hope you awaken a wonderful blade. Okay. Select a character to bond with. Let me rub my eye a little first, please. Really important to me. Okay, hopefully I can keep seeing out of both my eyes. 
We can have 99 core crystals? That's a lot of blades options. Okay, so tin it is. Gosh, look at that. Need the HLR, da da da. Okay. Power of the Wind Blade, skillful at moving a lot of items quickly, exclusive for Merc missions. Increased damage dealt when an ally is incapacitated by 50%. Oh, that's cool. Nullifies one reaction. Launch your knuckle crawls towards the enemy. Charge forward an instant, overwhelming the enemy with a flurry. And you should dive kick and cause an ether explosion. Rush in at high speed with a combination of kicks and punches. Nice. Anything else? Uh, da, 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 da. Nah. Rex's ability to, res to resonate with crystal cores has been unlocked. You can bond with the blade at any time and go to main when you blame on me. Core crystals aren't much use just lying around, so it can't hurt to resonate with them and see what you get. Also, the higher a driver's luck stat value, the better their chances of awakening certain very special blades. Once you have yourself a new blade, you'll need to engage it so that it can take part in battle. Uh, okay. Up until now, Rex had to rely on Pyro alone for support in battle, but now you'll be able to engage a variety of other blades and explain, expand your support options. Take advantage of different blades in battle, press the directional buttons corresponding to each blade phase and perform a blade switch. In no time at all, the blade who was previously supporting you will retreat and the new blade will take their place in the battlefield. Of course, switching blades will change both your weapon and your available arts. Different weapons have different benefits and drawbacks in battle, so use your blade switches tactically and after considering the current situation. Sweet. That one looks good, look, like a good one. Meh meh, fair always stand on end when Taurus E driver resonate with Crystal, so cool. Hey, don't look at me like that, you're making me feel weird. Well, looks like we got a new recruit anyway, let's go and find what happened to Nia. Rex, not so fast. Huh, what's up? Aren't you gonna kit your new blade out? You can tune up the weapon with a core chip from the smithy there. If Rex Rex never use a core chip before, then now very good time to start. You can really tell the difference between a driver who uses core shifts and one who doesn't. I'm starting to understand. Now for the main topic. That over there is an ox core shop. I don't know, I don't suppose you had to had a lot of cool to go in there before we driver. You're right about that. I used to wander around, wonder what all this strange gear was for though. Perhaps we should get over there and give it a try. Ox cores are just the, the thing for supplementing a, pla a blade's power. There are... Uh, they're all different types. Some boost defense, some make strong against insects, or strong at night time, meh. The number of ox cores you can equip varies from blade to blade, mind. Interesting stuff. Now this is the important... Now this is the important part, so listen up. Usually when you get an ox core, it's an, an empty state. You won't boost your blade with it empty. Okay, so how do I... How do you fix that then? Huh? I see. So this gizmo here makes aux calls usable. You catch on fast. That's right. This machine takes collectibles and war aux cubes and refines them into something useful. Here's one you can have a go out with. I've been saving it up for this occasion. Very occasion. Critical up two. Cool. Rex Rex, best not to think about where he stash it. <laughs> yes, Taurus, right about that. It's not much good without collectibles, though. Here. Dealwood. Meh, meh. You really have a lot stashed away there. You're good to go, Rex. Refine it. Got it. And as soon as we're done, let's go and search for some info about Nia. Eventually, we'll get to that. That's a lot of things that are that's going on right there. But all right, critical up one. What do they need? Just any of these? Any collectibles? Where's that? Where's that deer wood? Okay, so you just need some collectibles. That's good enough. Since you're standing in front of the Orcs core shop, let's revisit the topic of Orcs calls for a moment. At shops like these, you can get your Orcs calls refined. You'll need collectible items. The number of collectible items you need def is defined individually for each call. 
Once you have all the collectibles you need, you can head to the shop and get them fine. Watch out, the higher the value of the old core, the more difficult it's likely to be found to find all the necessary items. If you want to be able to refine your old core as soon as you get them, you'll need to always be on the lookout for collectible collection points in your travels. Great. And I can equip them. Great. So there's a happen couple of things I want to do. Um I can't bond anything actually. But I want to equip something on you. Here we go. I can empower the blade. These are core chips, okay. Orcs cores. We've got a critical. Give that for you, thank you. Increased by twelve. What do I do with this? We don't have any core chips. Okay. Noted. I think. No, because I also want to system update blade. I didn't see what that was. Um Rex, I want to change your how do I sort out your blades? It's in blades probably. Manage blades. So we've got this guy too. Customize blade. We can modify. What can we give with you? These are all the things I can improve with. Not a lot, actually, but okay. What do you need? Acquire treasure items through salvaging. Form a blade combo. Use executioner. Increase trust. That's being used by Pyra. That's fine enough, then. Wait, your critical rate is 15. Your critical rate is 12. So I should probably swap that over, actually. Because that means you... You know, I want to... Uh, Item is already equipped. I want to unequip it. Can I do that? I can't do that. There it is. Unequip. X button. Cool. I want to give it to the other guy because he's got a high chance of getting it anyway. So, only by 3%, but it's something. Cool. And then, can I buy more? Gormo head. Okay, inherited core crystal. Oof. Nope. Okay, well, it's all a little bit noted for now anyway. Uh, Alright, they'll both be out, I imagine, when I get in a fight. In that case, let's start these main quests bits, shall we? You're all mine. Overdrive protocol, thank you. Don't know how they just let me open this, but alright. Have you heard anything about Nia? Who are you people? Uh oh, maybe it wasn't a good idea to ask an Ardanian soldier. Uh, there was something I wanted to ask, but I've now completely clean forgotten what it was. Hmm. If it's information you offer, go pay for it on a local informant. Tell me the populace isn't our job, you understand? Uh, okay. Uh, hello Meep, thanks for joining us. We'll be playing... Uh, well... It's a little bit more because I want to talk to these last three people that they want me to talk to, and then I need to... i got to ask some questions and sort some things out, but... We'll get to that in a moment. There you go, informant. Taruni. Very hidden away. Taruni know this, so this of course. But Taruni is informant by trade. Cannot provide information without proper compensation. Alright, rumours of the battleship. Give it to me. Thanks much for a custom. Inside Titan Battleship, Gormati Girl being held prisoner. Unfortunately, Taruni not yet receive intelligence specifying prisoner name. But rumours say Big Sheep arrived for the sole purpose of holding one measly girl. People of Gormat are well, getting along quite well with Empire nowadays, so trouble like this not very welcome. This seemed to be opinion of most Tariki residents. <coughs> that about extent of information to Rooney know. Enough to satisfy friends? Thank you so much. Oh, we only need to talk to a handful. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, what happens now then? It's just the main one to go... What are we doing? Return to Tora's house. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll return to Tora's house and then have my little break. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, I just want to explore the world, man. Just... Oh, it's too inviting. I've got to play around for a bit. I'm clearly not in the right spot. Could be below and that direction. It's a new day, everyone! Good morning! Rise and shine! Thank you. Where is the staircase down, then? Oh. I think I found it. Thank you. Nope, now it's above us. We're just in the residential zone. Great. God, there's so much to see. Oh, look, there's even side quests now. That's what that question mark means. 
Okay, at least we're on the right level now. Didn't realize Tora's house was on the inside. Nice, it's about to be revealed that it's not. Oops, okay, so. Where is his place? Okay, well, we'll get there eventually. Just way around this water mechanism, huh? Ooh! Tora's hidden door. Ah! No wonder I was gonna have trouble getting here. Oh, yeah, I remember this now. Nia and Dromark executed. It doesn't bear thinking about. But getting aboard that warship will be no mean feat. We're going to need an ironclad plan. Army port is under heavy guard. I guess we'll just have to mount a full-on attack. No, Rex, we can't put everyone in danger. Right, sorry. There. This is one of the Grand Arbor's routes, right? If this map is correct, it goes all the way from the key to the hull of the warship. And here, it looks like some kind of cargo entrance. Could we sneak on that way? Oh, right. No one will spot us if we sneak in from below. Security light around this entrance. At night, not even workers here. Looks like this is our only option. Then it's a plan. <laughs> Tora? Tora have something to show you. What's this then? Nobody ever see this before. Secret of Tora. An artificial blade. An artificial blade? I can't believe it. Tora have always wanted to be driver of blade. But Tora... Uh, Tora has no potential to awaken Core Crystal. How could you know that? Surely you just have to try and... Oh. You did, didn't you? Yes, one year ago. Tora applied to drive a recruitment man. Oh, dearie me. Oh, Tora, you mean you... It was bad. Tora had nosebleed for three days. Just a nosebleed? What you mean, just? People die from loss of blood, you know. Yeah, but from a nosebleed. Anyway, moving on. For a near-death experience, you're awfully casual about this. Anyway, back to Tora's blade. When complete, even no potential Tora can be a driver. This is simply incredible. You built this blade from scratch, Tora? It was started by Grampy Pon and Dada Pon. But Grampy Pon die, and Tora still not know where Dada Pon go to. Oh. So Tora will finish Blade myself and become a driver like always wanted. Then. Dad upon hear about Tora's success and come back home, yes? Oh, Tora. By the by, Tora, this blade, as far as I can see, it looks complete. What is there left to do? <laughs> All Tora have left to do is buy missing parts. But Tora have no money at all. Oh, really? Really? Nothing. At all? Not even one gold. So you're asking for a loan? Uh, not loan. <laughs> um, closer to generous donation. Just like a nopon? <laughs> Always shrewd when it comes to gold. But, but, but if Tora completes artificial blade, combat capabilities will be big help on mission. Well, yeah. If it works, you may have a point. So, how much exactly do you need? Oh, uh, 
gold, no more than 60,000 gold. 60,000? Do you want a kidney as well? Calm down, Rex. I think we owe Tor our help. If it's just money he needs, I may be able to assist. Assist? How exactly? Nothing illegal. I pull. Don't even joke, Gramps. This is a natural crystal. It should fetch around 60,000. No way. We can't let you sell that. But... No, it wouldn't be right. That's it. I'm paying for the parts myself. Very admirable. Mama! Rex Rex is too generous. This blade of yours had better be seriously useful, though, Tora. Up, leave that to Tora. Well then, let's go, I guess. Yippee! Will they really be okay? I suppose they'll have to be. Alrighty then. Uh, so, uh, what do you actually need to finish this Heart of Blade? One perfect range sensor and three Bion connectors! I don't think I've ever heard of either of those. Perfect range sensor, a supplement function of eyes in the artificial blade. Quite pricey item, but very irritant. And the and the bion connectors. They have many uses, but mostly to prevent hat fall off. Would an ordinary piece of string not suffice? So, um, where can we buy these items? At Magia's Odds and Ends! It's just off to the left after entering Tarigoth Chair City! I'll make sure we've walked past that area before. Uh, uh, Alright, let's go! There's something I desperately need to do. What have Hold we on. Here? Not grab the wood. But there we go. That's also nice too. Hi. 